Hi, I'm Pam Proctor. Um, I've lived here in Bullhead City for 23 years. I have um, had a, two studios since I've lived here, and the first one was fired up. This is Grace with Make Bullhead Better, and today, Clay Totem Whispers and the Homeless Shelter team up to bring something beautiful to our town. Let's find out how. I've lived here, and the first one was fired up over by across, um, I guess, north of Walmart in the, um, the stores by the Bistro. And then um, we did all the totems in front of those stores. And then we started getting so many orders for totems and we moved over to um, a new location in Palo Verde um, Plaza. And we changed our name to Clay Totem Whispers. And so we still do classes there, but we mostly, there are six of us as artists that love to sculpt and we've moved on to doing a lot of sculpture. So we do totems and last year we came over and I met Susan and we uh, brought over a check for $1,200 from our Joyful Bowl uh, fundraiser. This will be our ninth year and it's this coming Saturday. So um, we make hand make bowls and uh, so we just felt like it would be a great opportunity to share our talents with the Homeless Center here. Well, I would just say we were so excited because first, um, this, this type of work is near and dear to my heart anyways. And um, I was just so excited when, when they came with a check. And even before that, when I was talking with Pam and she was telling me what they do, and just offering to do the fundraiser for us in the first place and then telling us what they do and I got so excited because I'm like that is fantastic and she asked if we would like one and I jumped on that and we talked about all of our different programs and they took that back and they incorporated that in such a beautiful way. Well we love the fact that um, we can help those that need help and need a place shelter to stay he here and then when Susan was telling us about the families that can come and they have their own separate apartment, right? And they can stay. And so, um, you know, you give them a, a bed to sleep in and warm food and just a, a helping hands. And um, then we had Ann Ferguson. She does stained glass and jewelry and she did their logo and Sheila um, Barger, she also um, has done multiple pieces here. Mitzi Zosa did the house. And let's see who else. Oh, I did a couple, the bed and the, and the, um, the spacers and the teddy bear. And we just think it's a wonderful place for you to be able to share for the community. So Susan, which piece is your favorite? So I have to say, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, me. yeah. But um, my favorite is the home oh, at, at right. the bottom of it, really, because um, when, it, when it all comes down to it, this is why we're here, you know, so that everyone can have their own home and be safe and secure. Um, so that's really it there. But for me, the Raggedy Ann doll is also great <laughs> because it just, like I said, it encompasses everything. It encompasses the food that we serve and, and the beds and just everything. Oh, and so. I didn't mention that was Crystal Snow, that she does all these little teeny pieces of food. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, she does beautiful work too. So just the whole thing really encompasses all that we, um, everything that I talked to Pam about mm -hmm. and everything that, you know, we're trying to um, reach out and help others with. And she just brought it to life in this totem. They all brought it to life in this totem. Yeah. And we're so appreciative. Can you talk about the Joyful Bowl one more time? Where is it? How can people go? All that information. Yes, our, uh, the Joyful Bowl is in our patio. Uh, we used to serve soups and breads and things, but with COVID last year, we didn't do that. And so we're not doing that again because, you know, and this world we live in. And so um, it is this Saturday from five to seven at the Palo Verde Professional Plaza. That's 3003 Highway 95. We're back in the very far corner next to Arizona Desert Dermatology's Laser Center. 
and there's a gate and you just come through that and we'll have all the bowls out there for you. They're $20 each or you can leave more if you'd like to donate more money to the, the shelter. And what is that money used for? So the money is used for anything and everything, honestly. You know, to um, it may be used to provide water, it may be used to provide food. Um, if someone needs a, a driver's license, so those are $12. Um, it's those little things that add up to quite a lot. So anything that someone might need, maybe help with a birth certificate, um, whatever, we'll use it to help, help families and help uh, individuals.